I'm going to talk about continuous improvement. Um, whether you're working on the latest stuff or some older things, it's, it's always important. Um, and it's important because the new stuff you do leads to learning, but where do you put that learning into action? It's actually supporting the things that are already in production with uh, the ideas you learnt last week, last month, last year, whatever it is. And then it leads to this word. What is legacy? And um, I can't remember who wrote this quote, but when it comes to software, I think it's uh, code without tests. That's instant legacy. But when it comes to overall systems, uh, I think of a counterexample. If the system's still providing value or handling transactions, that's not legacy, not yet. You might want to move away from it, but it's definitely not legacy. And the way I've thought about it in my current role is, is just follow the money. Customer pays for something, where does that transaction get recorded? Um, does it go into the unicorn, some JSON RESTful API microservice? Does it hit the old Clydesdale that's supporting a, an old proprietary database? In my current uh, role, it does end up in the uh, Clydesdale supported old database. The new systems aren't not important. I'm just trying to make the point that the old system isn't legacy. You still should be improving that. Uh, it's sort of work work balance. Um, so, to put it in more concrete terms, I just want to do this because I'm really proud of what we did here. Um, but it's perhaps a good example of um, just thinking about how we could improve something that we'd rather not have around, but we have to have around. So, I arrived three and a half years ago and found plain text passwords everywhere. They're in Kubernetes config maps and those were committed to Git. And they're also really helpfully on a wiki page for easy reference. <laughs> um, like 200 of them, too. Uh, one for every microservice. Uh, so we thought we'd better improve that. Um, and at this point, go for glory. You know, um, changing this, which has probably been that way for a decade, is going to be hard. So you may as well have some excitement as well. And we thought, rotate the creds hourly. Once a decade, not enough. From now on, hourly. And the trick was the database was storing the passwords locally. There was no LDAP or anything fancy like that. We had to rotate them in ETC password or, or shadow and then give them to the client because otherwise they'd locked out. So there was the solution. It was a lightning talk. I'm not going to talk through that. Read it as quickly as possible. We took our inspiration from AWS IAM users being able to have two API keys so you could sort of be using one and rotate the other. Cool. Um, and it worked. Um, we were able to delete all the original accounts with the uh, colloquially well-known passwords, and, and nothing broke. So it was a really great outcome. It took us probably the best part of 18 months to move all the clients across. Um, but it was a really good achievement. And then the last message from me is really, both unicorns and Clydesdale deserve your love. <laughs> Thank you.